Nancy Mazizo. Nandi Bandwini. Actually. That's actually. <laughs> actually. You've been doing exciting stuff. Yes, girl. And this from a woman that said, you know, I want to take a break. I want to slow down. Yes. And then it worked out for a while. The slowing yes. down worked out and you're like, oh, I'm enjoying being a mom. I'm yes. home. When you force things, you know, um, you, you're going against a certain energy and I'm very big with that. So... Everything was directing the fact that right now I needed to be a mom. Yes, I was still working, but not heavy work, mm. you know, and just to enjoy that phase, you know. And now, like, for some of my kids, my youngest is four. So. Oh, no, I know that. She's gonna, uh, for me personally, it, w- it just had to feel organic. So coming back to work, working again, it's, it's so exciting. Like, I've been in the studio, for example, now as a DJ Kent. We're finishing off uh, two tracks, actually. And it just feels natural. It doesn't feel like... In fact, sorry, it reminds me of a story I must tell you. And I, I digress and I interrupt myself. Where <laughs> and K.O. will remember this. <laughs> My brother K.O. will remember this. Where we had finished Say You Will, our latest single that we had together. Yes. The last one we had. And I was busy breastfeeding my daughter. So I'd quickly like do a line and then I'd go in the car and I'd like, breastfeed oh, her. And then go back. Listen and then, here, we're the same multi. A <laughs> task. Please. That's exactly. We are the queens right now. No, there. we are the queens of that. Let's talk, let's talk Apple. Um, mm. Apple music, which I thought was so aligned with your brand. Yes. Because I feel like you're the one person that sort of goes effortlessly into different markets and mm. i don't know how you did that maybe you can tell me how you did that but it was such a perfect fit let's talk about that thank you so much and thank you for everything you've said by the way i'm, I'm walking around with the biggest head just so you know i can <laughs> listen be, here i can't balance it right now <laughs> so, so thank you but um i think uh, first of all obviously we just had a great synergy but also before that it's funny how life always works out perfectly again i'm speaking of the universe and i say this because i've always been about the continent i've always been proudly african even when it wasn't popular it was always something that i wanted the world to know about how beautiful we really are as a continent you know like it's important to open the doors for the next group without feeling threatened and i remember i think people always forget when it's their time now to open the doors because we've had a long run you know you know what yeah i'm I'm being being candid yeah you've been here (laughs) yeah absolutely but i think the most important narrative and we saw it with the ones who came before us it's so important to be gracious about opening doors for the next group as well you know what i'm saying and ensuring that they also get to enjoy the limelight so Evolution is important and understanding where you stand, you know, in the yeah. industry. And I'm very big. A show like this allows me, but even myself, allowing that process to happen is to open doors to the next group of like musicians. So, yes, I'm doing music, but a very big thing is, um, and I've, I've had my time where, you know, you have hit songs. I'm not saying they won't stop. Of course, they'll continue, but also something big for me right now. Um, and, and from now on, and it's always kind of been the case, is just to ensure that, I get that beacon and I hand it over to the next group or shine a light to to different movements that yeah. are happening from the younger generation. Um, it, it's just important to be gracious in that way. And so you're seeing it. I've seen many people, for example, speaking badly of Amabi and saying, no, I won't do this or this dance move or tell me when this. And it's that's not the narrative. What we should be doing is saying, what an amazing movement. How can what, we what? support that? Love you... That. Even though having a kind of love is one of my all-time favorites, please. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you've given us all this, you know, great vocals on all these great songs, mm. you've never really limited yourself to, I'm a musician or I'm a presenter. No. Or I'm no. on this space and I'm on that space. Yes. I always feel like it's be- it's the, the curse of, or the blessing of being multi-talented yes. in that you have to nurture all these little spaces of yours to make sure yes. that one doesn't die when you're giving the other one too much yes. love. How has that balance been for you? It's such a great question because I never, I actually feel like that's the reason they stay alive. It's ah. because I'm not forced to like only focus on one, you know, specific like medium yeah. uh, in, in the arts. I, I think, you know, and, and that's why I never feel the pressure. So whenever I'm really not feeling something, you know what I'm saying? Or just maybe it's it's not really happening the way I'd like it. Or maybe I'm just tired. I can go into another media. It's like right now, radio is amazing for me, you know. I always saw, I've gotten a lot of offers for radio many a time but i always said there's going to be the right gig for it that represents what i'm about you know um and what i'm passionate about and yeah. and here you know apple music was just perfectly aligned perfectly aligned and i knew it would come um and i've been fortunate i think because i've been doing it since like you said i was 15 it's always been television 
or film or music and and why not explore all of it you know um and 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 truly speaking i always joke i say it's the adhd in me i'm just following the dopamine <laughs> wherever that dopamine leads me Listen, you know yeah, like, you're watching the news where <laughs> yes. tell us where you had it <laughs> that's what i do like right now i'm loving the dance movements once more and that's why like kent and i are creating a song that could completely change and right now I'd, i'm for example i'm also finishing a film black is king was something where i was like actually because i hadn't done anything from an acting perspective in a while from the road and yeah. I said well actually I'd love to go back into this and maybe and, do I mean, I mean you went back back yes so absolutely you, you uh, people who are autistic are incredible human beings you're looking at Elon Musk who's autistic they say people like Albert Einstein could have been autistic but I also don't want to romanticize there's a lot of challenges that come yeah, with that as well for sure, for sure. and there is special group of people you know I grew up in a family that I didn't know uh, uh, was neurodiverse in many ways and they were able to conquer so much and do exceptionally well you know but with that said you may be very anxious prone to things like depression mm-hmm. um, and that's your hypersensitivity you know because yeah. the world you feel the world you, a lot more you're like an empath on steroids yes you're a true empath on, you y- on steroids you're absolutely yeah. right and so all of that and that's why for me if anything it's just to advise people not only to see um and this is my personal advice where i love therapists and it's so important but also to understand your brain and this is where psychiatrists yeah. come in as well which i didn't know because i just thought yeah you just see therapy 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 but if you don't know you possibly have a condition so are you really healing or are you really understanding yourself because you're really getting from? to the root of you're it you're not now getting you, to the root of like, it okay i see manifestations of yes. this and that and the therapist is like yeah this is a problem but where does it stem where from? does it stem from well said so i think if we can all empower ourselves to understand that and I, I, i'm hoping that information gets out there more and that's the role that i'm playing because i do have such platforms like speaking to your beautiful self yeah. uh you know <laughs> uh, so and and to put that information out there. for me it's the little things that always bother me it's like information that should be freely available that we yes. should know um and it's for some reason it's just it, it's hidden or it's yeah. not available and mm. we are struggling with things that we should be able to get help absolutely you know like quite easily for me it's the little things like little you know like in the store if you break a thing you shouldn't necessarily pay for it because yes. they have insurance and the law says or you can get a refund on a certain thing yes and, people will just take advantage of the fact that you don't know it, yeah, it's well mental said. health and just going to, to the brain. clinic and finding a person who only wants to tell you well people that are mental are the ones that are the mental institutions but yeah. no, no. Uh, let's talk about the other things mm. that have looked normal all mm. our lives but can actually it's great when you finally understand something you're like oh that makes sense yes that's why i can't sleep at eight o'clock yes that's why i'm a night person or i'm an early <laughs> person you know? never sleep, yeah. and, and mm. life begins to make more sense and i feel like yeah. if we all had the opportunity to go through such a thing where we start connecting the dots and things make sense in our lives oh this is why my mother was like this she yes. probably had you know episodes of a certain thing yes. or, a certain or wife. social anxiety you know or, and you're right it's just to get rid of the taboos that are yeah. there and and to feel empowered you're so right where things always then start making sense um and you know we're all surviving in this world but how much better if you're more equipped right to survive the if world, you know right? you know what the lights are a trigger for me i'm gonna yes. walk in this direction yes so you much know? better you go about your life knowing let me rather avoid that or if, I, or if i'm triggered in a certain way i know how to deal with it because i understand that i've been triggered absolutely i mean we well go said. around in this low shading and, and i laughed so much because then i saw you at the durban july and you were wearing the dress with lights and we you're like low shading <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to save you we, from low shading low shading uh, everywhere yeah, might as well and stage six is coming i was like well, hold on I'm gonna yeah, help you guys. I've always been <laughs> suspicious of all that electricity here. Let me hold.